Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go through around 40 features that can be enabled via software coding or better known as VCDS coding. So let's go through them one by one. This is a Virtus GT Plus 2023 manufactured card having a virtual cockpit and a 10 inch mu system. The theme for which is set to red from factory by default. So the first feature this is called lock unlock sound. So if you press the unlock button, you will hear double beep sound from the horn. And now if I press the lock button once, you will hear single beep sound from the horn. So if in case any of the four doors are open, like if I go in the back and open this passenger door, leave it open. And now if I try to press the lock button, I will not hear the single beep sound. So that means I need to check the car and lock the open door so if i press this now i can hear the single beep sound from the horn that means the complete car is locked so the bonnet dickey and all four doors they are covered by this lock unlock sound okay so this is the adjustable setting for the car lock unlock sound so if i go to settings click on car and then opening and closing the last option acoustic confirmation so, so this next option this is called the driver window open close using remote so right now the car is locked. If I long press the unlock button, the driver window will start coming down. It will come down as long as I keep the button pressed. So as you can see, I have left the thumb from the key. Now if I want to close this window, I need to press the lock button once and the driver window will close automatically in one go. So for closing the driver window, we have two options. So this is the second option. Like if I long press the lock button, if I keep it pressed, the driver window will be closing as long as I keep the button pressed. So take a look. Okay, let's go to the setting in the infotainment. Click on car and then click on opening and closing. So this convenience opening, this is the adjustable setting from by, by using which we can enable disable the driver window open close using the remote. So this next feature is called ORVM opening after turning on ignition. So right now you can see the car is locked. Now if I press the unlock button, car is unlocked but the ORVM did not open. So now if I get inside the car, and now if I turn on the ignition, you will see ORVM will open. Okay, so the next option, this is called tail light on with boot open. So if I long press the dick key button on the key, you will see tail lights are on automatically. So the lights will be on as long as the dick key is open. So now if I go and close the boot or close the dick key, the lights are off. So now you can see the headlight is in zero position. If I go behind the car, you will see that the tail lights are on. This is called rear LED DRL. Right now you can see the headlight is in zero position. Handbrake is also down. If I go in front of the car, I will see that the front DRL is on. Now if I pull the handbrake and again go in front of the car, you will see the DRL is off right now. So this is called DRL off on applying handbrake and simultaneously the tail lights which we enabled as DRL they are also off. So this next option is called front DRL blinking with indicator. So as on the left side you can see the indicator and the front white DRL they are blinking simultaneously. And the second option or second iteration for this setting is the DRL and the indicator they are blinking one by one or you can say out of sync and the same blinking thing can be done for the tail lights and the indicator so right now you can see the tail lights and indicator they are blinking simultaneously and the second option or you can say second iteration this is the tail light and the indicator blinking one by one or out of sync with each other now this next option is called ORVM indicator blinking out of sync with the front and rear indicators so right now you can see on the driver side the ORVM it is blinking one by one from the front indicator 
and similarly if we go behind the car you will see the same thing happening in the rear and the ORVM indicator so, so this next option is called fog light flashing with IBM flashing so right now if I pull the headlight lever you will see along with the headlight the fog lights are also flashing so this next option is called anti-theft alarm so now if I press the lock button you will see the car is getting locked window are closed and the ORVM is folded so now after locking the car we need to wait around 25 seconds and after 25 seconds if we pull any of the door handles from inside so the car horn starts honking this is called anti-theft alarm and now let me pull the driver door handle from inside you will see the car horn will start honking like to stop the anti-theft alarm you need to press the unlock button on the remote so the next feature is called tear drop wipe so if i pull the wiper lever the water sprays and then it wipes three times and the wiper after that waits five seconds and wipe one more time automatically so right now you can see the car engine is on i can rev the engine and now if i go outside the car with key in my hand so this is the key i close the door and then i press the lock button you will see the car is getting locked and I cannot open it using the handle so to open it I need the key in my hand as you can see engine is still on rpm is around 950 so I will press the unlock button on the remote and car will get unlocked so the next feature is called theater dimming effect so right now if I turn on the headlight you will see the lights on the inside button so on the headlight switch they will get on slowly and when I switch off the headlight, they will be getting off slowly. This thing is visible even on the driver door pad. And on the center console. So this next option, it is called engine start stop button pulsation. So you can see the button is pulsating. So this pulsating happens as long as the ignition is on or any of the doors are open once you start the engine the blinking stops this next feature is called lane change click to 5 blink so if i tilt the indicator slightly you will see that the indicator will blink 5 times this next setting is for the m main light inside the car that is in front of the passenger seat so right now you can see all four doors are closed and the ambient light is still on so the next option for the instrument cluster or the virtual cockpit is the horizontal tachometer or rpm bar that is on top of the screen and this thing shows in this view only if i rev the engine you will see rpm is changing and now it is showing the economative like when stationary do not press the accelerator pedal so this economative it is adjustable from the mu system so if i go inside the settings of the infotainment settings car car and instrument cluster so if i disable this eco tips you will not be getting eco tips so this next option is for the odometer top speed limit so right now as you can see it is showing 260 on the instrument cluster this can be changed to 280 you can see on the instrument cluster it is showing 35 liters as the refuel quantity that means if you feel 35 liters of fuel in the tank tank will become full and uh, this thing shows in multiple of five only and when the tank is full it shows dash or hyphen also you can see in the left side the oil temperature so right now it is showing 91 degrees this next option as you can see will be steering angle so the steering angle is live it shows the correct angle whenever you are driving the car so these all the settings are adjustable you can adjust them inside the virtual cockpit settings and select any one of them as per your choice so this next option this is the door ajar warning on all four doors so right now if i open the driver door you will see the virtual cockpit is giving sound now if i go to the passenger door if i open it you will see that it is giving the warning and the sound on the instrument cluster so if i close this thing the sound and the icon will be gone
So on the virtual cockpit right now, you can see it is giving the warning, please switch on the light. So if you don't like this warning, this warning can be disabled permanently. So now this warning is gone. So even if I put the headlight in auto and then put it back to zero, even then the warning will not be showing anymore. So this is a Virtus GT. We know that the virtual cockpit is in red color. So we have the option to change the color via coding. First thing, this is the black color. This is the green color. This is the dark blue color. This is the aqua color. This is now purple shade. This is the dark shade of violet. And this thing goes on. I can do any number of colors because the virtual cockpit support 16 million colors. So now it is Virtus stop line. So this next option is for the AC. So right now, if I press on the auto button, you will see it is showing the fan blower speed. Earlier, it used to be blank. Also, right now, the temperature is 25.5 that I have set on the AC. And outside temperature, it is showing 33 degrees Celsius. And even at 25 degrees, the car cabin temperature is maintained and it is cold. Unlike the stock tuning that comes from the factory, where if you keep the AC temperature about 23 or 24, you start to get hot air. This thing is uh, there because the AC tuning from the factory, it is set to hot, uh, sorry, cold climate country. And by changing it to hot climate country, the AC cooling improves. Now let's go to the next option that is called sports menu. If I click on this thing, this will show you the turbo boost or pressure. Right now it is creating 5.8 PSI, the turbo. This is the RPM, this is the gear display. Gear display changes in real time. If you take a look, this is how it will work. And RPM is there. This is the speed. This is TPS, that is throttle positioning sensor, means how much you press the accelerator. This line will increase and it will show you the percentage over here. This is fuel quantity, this is coolant temperature. So let me rev the engine. You will see turbo pressure is changing. RPM is changing and TP is also changing. Next option is the off-road option. If you click here, this is the tire angle. If I move the steering, you will see tire angle is changing. And this is the altitude from sea level. This is oil temperature. This is fuel quantity. Again, coolant temperature. Now, if I go back, click on vehicle status. There is a small button called start stop. Let me click here. Okay, so now it is showing these options with due to which the engine will not be getting off automatically right now. So out of 12 reasons, right now these are the two reasons which are or which will not allow the engine to get off automatically. Next feature is AC controls on the infotainment. So if I click here, you will see AC buttons. So now the AC is fully functional from the infotainment. I can click any button. Temperature can be reduced. AC compressor can be made on off. This is dummy. This is dummy because these are for dual climate zone. This next option for the enhancement of the music quality, this is called Canton sound signature. In this sound signature, the bass, treble and the vocals, they all are enhanced and you can feel the sound is better in comparison to the stock tuning that comes from the factory. Even the sound from the tweeter also comes, which right now is almost negligible or nil in stock tuning. And similarly for the woofer, there is a setting called Dyna Audio sound tuning. So using that setting, the bass improves from the woofer and even comes alive at a volume as low as 9 or 10. So the next feature is called Video in Motion via pen drive. So if I click on this USB, I go down, click on video files, I click here, this will start playing the video. And now if I start driving the car, you will see that the video is not getting stopped, it is still playing, that is called Video in Motion. So now I have started driving the car. So right now we are in the infotainment. So as you can see, the theme is red colored. So instead of red, if you want to choose, we have total three options like red, blue and yellow. So right now it is red. Let me restart the system. You will see the yellow color now. So now you can see the theme is yellow or orange color. The next option that will be blue color. Let me restart the infotainment, then you will be able to see the blue color. So now you can see the theme on the infotainment is blue color. For the infotainment, there are multiple startup animations or boot animations. So first one, it is called the Welcome to Boxbacken GTS. This thing shows in complete red color. 
सो दिस इज अनदर ऑप्शन इन द स्टार्टअप एनिमेशन और बूट लोगो सो दिस नेक्स्ट थ्री फीचर्स दे आर रिलेटेड टू द ड्राइविंग डायनेमिक्स ऑफ द कार सो फर्स्ट वन इज रिलेटेड टू द स्टीयरिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड डायनेमिक स्टीयरिंग प्रोफाइल सो बाय डिफॉल्ट फ्रॉम फैक्ट्री द स्टीयरिंग इज वेरी लाइट बट इफ यू वांट टू इंक्रीज द वेट और वांट मोर फीडबैक और कंट्रोल द स्टीयरिंग बिकम्स लिटिल हैवी सेकंड ऑप्शन दैट इज फॉर द थ्रोटल दैट इज कॉल्ड एनहांस थ्रोटल रिस्पांस लाइक राइट नाउ व्हेन एवर वी आर क्रॉलिंग इन द सेकंड गियर एंड whenever we press the accelerator there is some sort of lag that is felt between 900 to 1600 rpm and especially in the second gear so there is a setting uh, by using this setting the lag can be reduced to some extent it doesn't become completely zero but the car pulls a little linear third option that is for the brakes that is called enhanced traction control or torque vectoring with strong xds so the torque vectoring thing this is set to medium from factory by default and what this thing does is it improves braking while cornering and in general also so if we change this setting to strong the braking will become little better cornering will be even better because it improves braking while cornering and in general you will feel the braking also sharp or the bite will be better than medium setting we have coded more than 750 cars all over india so you can go and check out us on instagram If you want to get these features enabled in your car you can ping us on WhatsApp or Instagram and the links are provided in the description please like share comment and subscribe thank you for watching